Uh, so today we're going to learn the basics, the techniques and movement, and then we're going to uh, practice hitting the ball against the wall at the end. And then we're going to have another two teachers in the following lessons actually have you play some games. So if everyone gets up, then we're going to go over there and make five lines by the mark. Can you jog over the link? Come on, run, jog, jog, jog. Look like PE teachers. Energetic. Buttons facing right. Okay, and then we're going to go belly buttons facing left when I pull it out. Alright, so in the one ball handball, we never want to be facing the ball like you are at the moment when you hit the ball. So first we need to practice changing direction. So we're going to jump 180 degree turns left and right on my count, okay? First thing we're going to jump, we're going to start in the right position and we're going to do a 180 jump to the left. Ready, go. Right. Jump right, left, right, left, front, good. Alright, so that's the basic turning moves in one more angle. Now, can anyone tell me a basic, what do you think is the basic motor skill that we're going to use in one more handball? Alright, uh, 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 I'm looking for a, a movement principle. A hop, close, you're going to be sliding. So, when we're facing sideways, we want to have a sliding motion back and forth from the wall. So our slide is going to look like this, a step out and slide, step and slide. And we're going to do that both left and right. So we can go front way slide or back way slide. So I'm going to call out the same. We're going to either hop or we're going to backwards or front and slide. So we're going to need a little bit of space we're going to be moving now. So belly bones facing me. Alright, hop right. Backwards, slide. Good. Keep going, keep going until I see stop. Slide, 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 stop, hop, left. Good. Slide front, slide, slide, slide. Nice. Right, slide back. We're gonna go a little bit faster now. Slide, 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 hop, left. So when I say hop, we're gonna change direction, okay? Slide back, 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 back. Hop. I say hop, we're changing 180 degree, remember? So we should all be facing this way. I'm going to do it with you. Slide back, 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 back. Hop. Slide front ways, front ways. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Hop. Good. Alright, everyone, go to the face with me. Now that's a skill warm up activity to get the basic movement. We're never really going to be running with our belly buttons to the wall. And we're going to learn why when we get the, the technique of the the shots going. Now, there are technically six strokes we're going to learn, but we're going to break it down into three first. So we're going to learn a regular forehand stroke motion. So everyone turns left and follows my directions. <coughs> Alright, so we're going to have our feet firmly planted on the ground, and during the stroke we want to be able to rotate, um, take our momentum from the back foot to the left foot, so everyone can get this motion going. From the right to the left. It's called weight transference. Okay, everyone stop, but stay where you are. Now, we're going to have our arms up. And our striking hand is up above our head, and our left arm is going to be out in front. Now, it doesn't matter if you're left or right-handed, because we're going to be hitting both forehands, but from either side. So we need to know how to hit them on both sides of our body. But for now, we're going to use our right striking hand. So, when we, when we have a ball approaching us, we're going to be on our back foot. So 
So if everyone can get our weight strongly on our back foot, which is our right foot. Right. And then we're going to, as the ball comes to us, we're going to have to push the curtain. We're going to use pushing the curtain away to open our body up. And we're going to swing with momentum on our front foot forward and get to contact point. No more than contact point, just here. Right here. We're going to hold it right here. Look. Hold, can we hold. do that again? From back to front foot and holding it at contest. Good. Can I see it one more time, please? Nice. Nice. So we got, there's three, there's three things I'm looking for. There's a, there's find, feel, and finish in a, in a racquetball shot. We're going to find the ball with our back foot, which is our weight transference. We're going to stand in line with the ball. Then we're going to feel the ball, which was at contact, which we got to. But we want to hit the ball with a cup hand. Not like we're high-fiving someone, because that hurts. So we're going to hit the ball with a cup hand like we're shaking someone's hand. So if you see, me and Alonzo, we've got a cupped hand when we shake our hands. We can all shake someone's hand and we can get that feeling. Can everyone see how we got a slight, we got a slight cup in our hand? Now if everyone high-five their partner. Yeah, can you see how the first, can you see how the first one will be a bit more effective when hitting a ball? Alright, everyone facing me again. Uh, sorry, stay on your left side. So we're gonna get to that same position, but at contact point we're gonna have a cupped hand. So everyone, weight transference and at impact. Nice, good. And the third thing we have, so that's finding the ball with our feet, feeling it with the cupped hand, and now we're gonna finish the shot. So we get back on our right foot. Come through, pull the curtain, feel the ball on impact, and finish with a follow through. And our right leg should naturally come through with momentum. Can I see everyone do the full motion, please? Nice. So just keep, keep, keep swinging and have come around and have a look at everyone. Nice. Good job, guys. Can I see you? Nice. Good effort. Let's give a try. <laughs> Need to transfer the weight to the front foot as you hit. Hips, 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 hips. basics, movement patterns and swing patterns, we're going to move into rebounding skills because we need to know how to, we got to learn how to read the ball coming off a wall. So uh, I'm, this isn't too hard for you guys but I'm just going to explain how you would show this to a younger group and then we'll move on to something else. So we're going to get into groups of three. Every group is going to have a big ball and a, a normal racket size ball. So if this is my group here, we're going to have one 
and we're going to have you go behind her. We're going to have a group of three on a wall. Uh, what was her name? Christina. Christina's going to throw the ball against the wall and try and direct it to me, and I'm going to get my back foot behind it and catch it, just like I was showing you before. We're going to find the ball to that feet. We're not hitting it, we're just catching it. We're learning how to read the ball off the wall. So if she throws the big one first, and then the small one, so I get an idea of how to Find it. I'm going to find the ball right behind my right foot because that's where I'm going to step and hit through the ball in a, in a real game like situation. So I caught that one. I'm going to give that one to Alonzo. And she's now going to do the same thing with a small ball. And this is the proper ball that we play with. And I'm going to catch it with my striking hand. So we're going to go again. I'm going to find it with my feet and catch it. That's all we're going to do. So if we have uh, three, 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 three. <laughs> Didn't you just catch it with the wrong hand? Oh, you can't. Yeah, she's messed up. That's why. Okay. Michael is going to demonstrate correctly. Yes. Keep your small ball and then back into your groups. American Idol winner over there. 
Oh yeah, everyone back in their groups, please, quickly. They'll act just like high school kids. Now, back, no, back just in your lines here. Now, we're going to move back into our groups on our allocated dots. But this time, we're going to have Christina, I will demonstrate. You're going to be, you're going to hold the ball. We're going to drop the ball in front of us, but have our back foot behind it, like we're finding it with our foot. And we're going to drop it and do the motion that we learned earlier and hit the ball against the wall and catch it. Can I let it bounce? Can I let it bounce? Nice. Okay. That's a good shot. But everyone, we saw how it was hard. So if we're going to be in a little confined space, we just want to, we're going to drop and just hit up. Nicely to ourselves so we can catch it. Okay? So if everyone gets back in their groups, we're going to have one shot each and rotate in our groups of three. Let's remember, have our cup hands so it doesn't hurt our hands. Okay, you can play. Little more power. Little more power. Matthew, is it coming back? Is it coming back? Okay, think about your stance. You want your non-dominant foot in front, you want to be sideways. We don't ever want to have our belly button toward the wall. Camera's on you. Sideways, Deidre. Don't get lazy and, and have your belly button toward the wall. Shoulder, shoulder. Like you're batting. Softball. Think softball, right? Think any sport that you do, you don't do it flat, do you? Always. It's just this one doesn't have a dominant side. It's right and left both. Light on your feet. Light on your feet. A little more power. A little more power. Yes. Nice, Sydney. Well, it takes a few repetitions to get the hang of it. Throw it to himself. I'm going to let it come to me and move into it and hit the ball. So, technically, in one ball, handball, we can only bounce once, but we're going to have practice that letting it bounce numerous times until you feel comfortable at where it's in your strikes. Um, typically, you want to have it between waist and shoulder height. That's 
where we want to contact the ball. So if we have a long to demonstrate that, you're going to throw it softly and you can let it bounce as many times as you want. Just takes one, that's okay. If you feel comfortable in one bounce, that's good. But for some people, you might want to have it if it's too high, you're going to have to step back, let it come to you, and then it is. So our groups, we're going to have one person at a time do that, but we're going to spread out a little bit more. So just push over a little bit, and we're going to challenge you some more. Alright, we'll get back in our groups and try that one. to us now. Now we're going to have a more continuous rally in our group so there's no more stopping here. We're going to have each person hit the ball and then the next person hit the ball and we're going to see how many hits consecutively we can do. So if I demonstrate with this group again, we're going to have this. This one is a tap and hit. So I'm going to start going to tap the ball to myself and hit it. She's going to get it off for one bounce and tap it to her side it. just slows it down so we get a better feel of hitting the ball. So we're drop, hit, she's going to tap it to herself, and then hit against the wall, and then that line goes, tap, and then hit it, and then it's me again. I'm going to tap, and hit it. And we're going to see how many times control, with control we can go with the group. Uh, our target is 10 to 15. We'll see if we can do that. Remember, when you get more comfortable, use both hands. Okay, back in your groups, please. Let's concentrate on keeping the balls in your area. We don't have to get it too hard. Yeah, just the ball in our area. We are going to play a little tournament at the end. So there's prizes for it. That will be Wednesday of next week. Get your uh, fundamentals down. Oh, tap, tap it up. That way you get your control back. So when it gets down, it's just nice and easy to 
because my camera's on you. <laughs> Every time, too. Like, jump rope and two. Uh, tap it up, tap it up. That way you get control back again. Tap it up. We have little problems with control. They're struggling. Back to your spots, folks. Back to your spots. Everyone back in your lines, please. Behind each other. Just stay in your, yeah, in your groups, but in lines. So just line up behind Mike. There we go. Okay. So we're going to have you guys, you're going to use that wall over there. You have more space. Sam, you're going to use this wall. You have more space. You got that wall. Uh, you're in your group. We're going to have you guys in between here on this middle wall. We're going to push the trash can. Closer makes it easier. You can control it. The farther back you are, the more accurate you got to be. Don't hit it hard.
Oh, yeah. Oh, that's. Oh, y'all, y'all got control now. Oh, I bragged too soon, didn't I? Right up, even. He couldn't handle the pressure of the camera. You know, that final make or break movement on camera, what can I say? Show this to your high school students when you get out and start teaching. <laughs> Blackmail material. This is a drill, not a competition. 
Michael is a very competitive guy. Remember, weather, weather strikes is different for everyone. You're going to get really good with your left hand before it's over with. It's okay. It's not a hard ball. Everyone hold the balls. Last rallies. Last rallies, okay? One more rally each. One more Ooh, rally. You can so. take it's open. I fixed it for you. All right, I was going to reach it. Sorry. Y'all are for that barn. Jesse's book. I have to fix my car. You should Yeah, you're always in issues. Yeah, I already talked to my other teacher about it. You're going to get it done. Learn the material to the best of practice. Last rally, keep it going. Hold your ball when you mess up the rally. Hold your ball. See who goes the longest. Keep the rally going, guys. Hold your ball when you finish. Hold your ball. Keep it going. Keep it going. Hold it. Good. Very good. Yeah. Nice, man. Not a bad day. Yeah, getting close. Thank you. That was a really good lesson, guys. It was. It was.